Hey guys, so today I'm going to make a video and Ira is going to help me. Can you say hi? Can you say hi? Do you see yourself in the video? Actually, I've actually had this conversation with um, my daughter's birth mom kind of about how I had some insecurities regarding okay so say my daughter grows up and she goes back to her birth mom is like <coughs> telling all the nitty-gritties about the things that I did wrong as a mom and how that would be so hurtful for me and my daughter's birth mom was like well she better not because I would be the first person to tell her that I handpicked you I think every mom at some time in their motherhood journey, journey has um, had a little bit of insecurity or you know has asked themselves, okay, am I enough? I think it's a little bit more dynamic when you add an adoption into motherhood just because you do love the birth family so much that you want to fulfill their, their expectations and stuff. But I don't, I guess as time has progressed, I don't feel like they have incredibly high expectations because you get to know each other so well that you just understand that we're all just traveling the journey of life and trying to do the best that we can and uh, we just do our best we all make mistakes we're all trying to learn the expectations that they've expressed to me is just you know I want you to love them no matter what they do good bad indifferent that you love them through their trials and their hardships and that you stand by them, that you protect them. Um, and I feel like we're doing the best that we can in that area and I don't feel any judgment past. I feel like they know our hearts and they know who we are and that's why they picked us. So. I just think it's most important for you to be the best you as a mom and as a dad. And that'll be enough. That'll be enough for your child. I, I think that we were also chosen by our little ones to be their parents and also by God. I don't think it's just the birth families. I think that the higher expectation that we have, we have for ourselves in our journey through parenthood should be um, whether or not we're fulfilling God's expectations because... That's the one I most care about, just because know. he knows our abilities and, and he knows whether or not I'm trying or he knows my weaknesses and he's going to be forgiving of those. So, um, we just need to be the best us, the best individual, individual that we can be. I think that if you're traveling through some of these emotions, just know that it's normal, that it's okay, it's what you do um, in reaction to them that matters the most. And I think that it's good that we have these things, it keeps us in check and it always helps us to be um, pushing ourselves to be better, but at the same time I think we need to be careful and we need to allow ourselves a little breathing room to make error. And because honestly, if we if we consume ourselves with those type of thoughts, that's not living. That's that's not why we chose adoption. That's not why we, we became parents. Uh, we desired this to help our kids progress, to help these little spirits be the people that they need to become. And if we're obsessing over our faults or flaws or expectations that everyone else has on us, then that's not living. That's torture, and that's just not fair. No one should have to live like that. One of the things that helped me get past some of these um, questions in my mind, whether or not I would be able to meet their expectations, was uh, open adoption, just because then I was able to get to know them on such a personal level. I think that as time progresses, and so does the relationship, that the security grows and grows. Just like any relationship, the more you trust, the more that you have compassion for one another's side. When my birth mom tells me that even now that if she could go back and do any of it different, that she wouldn't, um, it makes me feel good because especially with my son, now that he's two, now that he's two, <laughs> and getting bigger, like she's watched how we parent and she watches how we are together, and it's nice to know that um, she still would pick up.
fight us again. That she doesn't see that our flaws or that our our lack of ability that it doesn't stop her from you know knowing that we're the right match. Whoa! <laughs> um, so yeah, it's just a thing that you have to go through with adoption. You go through a lot of emotions, and some of them easy, some of them hard. But as you face them and as as you educate yourself. Uh, the easier it gets. Uh, uh. <laughs> Are you crazy? Can you see yourself on there? <laughs> <laughs> You're crazy, man. Can you say bye? See, thank you for watching. Can you say bye? Say bye. Bye. Hope you guys have a wonderful day. Bye.